Hope you guys have enjoyed the previous videos by learning in and out of collection framework. Now it's time to learn about another beautiful concepts and interesting topic in Java, which is multi-threading. I heard from many developers saying that multi-threading is one of the toughest topic in Java. The reason behind that is people think like, okay, it is developed by Oracle Java team where it is core level, the language level, and it is very difficult to understand the concepts, how it is actually working internally. So I have taken the toughest topic and split into multiple videos and want to go in and out of each concepts in multi-threading and I want to make you guys feel comfortable in terms of like before appear for any interview as well as coding and also I will go through with the real-time programming so you guys will understand where we really use multi-threading in our real-time programming in our client place. In this video we are going to learn about one of the most important Java interview question which is what is the difference between runnable interface and callable interface? So as a Java developer, we should clearly understand how we can use what uh, these interfaces and what is the difference between these two. So I have written the points here. Let me go and explain to you guys so that you guys will get in and out of it. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I have written the uh, difference between runnable interface and callable interface. As I said, runnable is interface, callable is interface. So when are we going to use this? Let's say if I want to implement a threading concept or if I want to implement some multi-threading, right? So if I want to make my class as a threaded class, what I should do is either I can use uh, extends thread class or I can use implements either runnable interface or implements scalable interface. There are three options. One is, first option is to extend to your, your class extends thread class. The second option is your class implements runnable interface. The third option is your class implements scalable interface. But there is a difference in using these three types. So what is the best of uh, out of these three? Always use interface because if you use, uh, if your class implements interface, it is possible that if you want to implement any other interface, you can do it. But if your class actually extends thread class, then it is not possible that you can extend any other class. So that's actually a difference over there that you should, you, that you guys should always aware about it. So now let's talk about what is runnable interface, what is callable interface. So runnable interface and callable interface both are actually created by the Java development team, which is mainly to uh, achieve the multi-threading concept. But when a thread is actually called the start method, let's say when you say t.start off, right? So that time it is actually going to start the thread, right? So what I actually do is it internally calls run method. If you use, if your method, if your class actually implements runnable interface, whenever you uh, start the thread, it actually internally calls run method. So the run method, actually the syntax of run method is not going to return anything. If you guys see here, so let's say your class is my thread. So public class, my class, sorry, uh, my thread, which implements runnable interface. If you guys see here, here it is runnable interface. A runnable interface means it has run method. Run method means it is not going to return anything. It, ju it just simply run it. That's it. Okay. So public void run. So it won't return anything. If your requirement is that you don't want to capture after the job completes, then you can go for runnable interface. Let's say if your requirement is something like you want to capture what is the object written from back from the job. So when I say job, job of a thread is nothing but whatever whatever you are writing inside the run method or whatever you are writing inside the call method that we call it as job of a thread. So when a thread calls start method, in this case, actually it calls, it internally calls the call method, it actually returns an object. So if you guys see here, my thread implements callable. So this is an interface, it has its uh, method called public object call off. So basically this is going to return the actual object. So here it should be like written, written OBJ. So this is how it actually works. Okay guys, but if you guys think about like when this was introduced, Oracle development team actually introduced this one in JDK 1.0. But after that, they realized that if the calling method or if the main thread wants to get uh, the return the object, right? It, if it wants to get the object, what is written from the uh, uh, job of a thread, then they developed this callable interface Basically, this has been introduced in JDK 1.5. So when I say uh, getting the object written back, right? So what is mean by that? So let's say you are actually uh, using synchronized method, right? So basically you are using executor service, right? Executor service, uh, once you get an object of it, you are actually submitting a job, right? For a particular uh, service. So yes dot submit of J. So basically if you say yes dot submit of J, J is the job and S is the executor service. In this case, it is not going to return anything because submit of J is nothing but it is going to execute this void of run method, which is not going to return anything. So it will be very wider one. But in case of here, S dot submit of J, so here J is a job and S is a service. When you say S dot submit of J, it is going to call 
the callable call method and then it is going to return this object so whatever the object it is returning the callable method the call method is returning that has to be stored in terms of future so there is a class called future in java basically using this feature class i am going to store that particular object whatever is written from the call method so basically this is these are the difference between runnable interface and callable interface in java so if anyone ask anything about like what is the difference between uh, runnable interface or callable interface just make sure that runnable interface is not going to return anything from the run method but callable interface when you implement it it is going to return an object from the call method this is the main difference and then you guys can tell it was introduced earlier in jdk 1.0 and this was introduced in later 1.5 jdk then how you can able to receive this uh, whatever the object return from the callable method is with the help of future f if they want you guys to write a code just write it like this s dot submit of j here it will be s dot submit of j but it will be stored in in terms of future uh, class so this is all about like the difference between runnable interface and callable interface i hope you guys have understood this concept so if anyone ask at any time just make sure that you guys are very clear in this so that you can uh, get in and out of all this concept i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys